Hello, my empresses, my divine feminine energies. Uh, welcome back to Luma Moon Tarot. I am here to do um, just, I'm doing a random collective reading, but the empress came out. So it screams divine feminine. So this is, I feel like it's going to be a divine feminine reading. Okay. Um, this reading is for the collective. If something uh, brought you in from the title, there's something in it for you. But just take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? Don't try to force it. And thank you, Divine Feminines. I love you guys. Um, thank you so much. You are so powerful. I, I feel like Divine Feminines, you're, uh, you're leaders. You're leaders. And um, I feel like you're showing the world a lot uh you're like a uh, kind of a driving force right now in the world okay so i'm so super proud of my divine feminine soul tribe you guys are awesome thank you so much for all of your support um the like subscribes everything that you guys do here that helps this channel keep growing thank you so much um the first thing that i'm seeing is you're dumping a cup out um i feel like uh if anybody comes towards you with an apology, I feel like you may even see it as, you know, no more apologies at this point, right? I, it's it's kind of like I'm, I'm no longer accepting applications. That's really what it feels like to me. I'm no longer accepting any applications, any, you know, people from my past, no longer accepting apologies. Um, you're drawing that line, okay? You're drawing a line. That's it. It's done. You're sitting on your Empress throne, and right now you are attracting new things to you. Okay? So you're really open and waiting um, for new connections, new opportunities. Um, I feel like you're listening to messages too. And she's got her eyes closed here. So pay really close attention to your dreams right now, Divine Feminine, okay? Um, they're going to lead you and guide you in the direction that the divine wants you to be in so that they're, they're lining you up to, um, receive those manifestations. Okay. Um, I feel like right now you guys that you've been really put through it in this journey, but you've reached the Empress status. Do you know what that takes? You literally have to learn and acquire all the attributes of every queen in the deck in order to reach the status that you're in. Okay, and when I say status, um, spiritual, like, ranking, okay, and abundance. And, I mean, it's kind of like in all areas of your life, but it starts from within. All right, you, um, you have all the qualities and, and characteristics of all four queens. So you're very loving, very nurturing. You've got that mastered. Okay, you're very spiritual as well. Um, you're a, you're becoming a master in that if you aren't already. All right, I don't see the high priestess out here yet, but yeah, um, you're a master at manifesting here. This is you manifesting. So you're a master manifester. Um, you're passionate. You're a warrior. Um, you've been put through it. And you always seem to get back up on your feet and succeed and go after the things that you want, okay? Um, you're uh, committed, dependable, reliable, solid, strong, um, uh, an excellent mother or father, um, very nurturing, you know, responsible, right, dedicated, uh, and... Um, Let's see, what's the last one? The ace. Of, yeah, you're very intuitive as well. And you speak the truth and you stand by your truth. And I feel like you've been really betrayed and that's something that you had to heal on your own. Um, so yeah, I, you're every queen in the deck, but all of, really all of that had to come from within. Okay, so you put so much effort into yourself in pretty much every area of your life. Now, I feel like you are single out here um, because I see you just kind of like not wanting anybody back in right now, okay? I feel like that's it. You're manifesting, um, you're manifesting something new for yourself here. Princess of Wands, I always see this person as kind of like a magician. Very powerful energy here. 
And I feel like you are spiritually protected as well. Um, yeah, you've got some powerful energy with the Stonehenge behind you. Oh, there could be somebody dark out here, honestly. You're in Queen of Pentacles energy. You're just very grounded. You could have had some really dark, I feel like dark energy sent to you by somebody else, but I feel like you have been protected and you could be getting some new ideas actually right now. Um, a lot of you, look at how you're hanging your head here. Some of this energy that's been sent to you, Divine Feminine, has made you feel really tired. You guys, we've... I've. Maybe not all of us, but so many readers out here in Tarot Land have picked up on this energy. And we I personally started picking up on it in my readings a couple of months ago. Um, I feel like people were doing some uh, like drastic, last-ditch effort kind of spell work. Or just even just wishing bad on you, praying for your downfall, right? Um, it could just be like them thinking bad thoughts about you. But a lot of energy was sent out. I, I've even picked up on entities being unleashed and all of this. I mean, it's been crazy energy that we've been in. And we've been all trying to fight to get out from underneath that energy. Okay, that negative, thick heaviness. Like you, it could have messed with your sleeping patterns. It could have... Um, affected your confidence level, your self-esteem, the way you work. Um, it could have made you tired, felt feel drained. It has a tendency to get in your head. We've all picked up on different things out here. And I feel like you have broken free from that, though. You really have. You're manifesting here like a true master. Um, just remember to keep your vibes high, right? Six of Swords, yeah, I feel like the Divine has creative, created a safe passage for you. This is you and other light workers. I feel. Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, being led to calmer waters. Um, pay close attention to your dreams right now. I'm getting that, uh, and I've been getting it in my readings. Um, you may be having some dreams the uh, very vivid dreams. Your person could show up in them or people that you're um, leaving, moving away from, right? Um, some of you could be being led to move or make a location change. Um, you're getting directions, instructions, and um, messages in those dreams. So pay close attention to your dream state. Anything that comes into your mind, I've been having to write stuff down lately because honestly, the the downloads and messages are coming in so fast that um, I, I I I if I'm like out and about, I don't have a way to write them down or do anything with it at the time. So, you know, they'll remind us though. The divine will like if we miss out on a message, you know, or it just slips our mind, right? Um, the divine will bring it back up again like the next day. So, I mean, you know, judgment, yeah. I feel like this is the divine maybe calling you to, I feel like they're telling you to snap out of it, something like that. Snap out of it. We're getting you out of this dark energy. I really feel like it's, um, you're starting to feel better. The, the cloud, the heaviness is lifting off of you now. And it's going back to these people. Look at now they're being haunted. There's that entity. There's the entity, Divine Feminine, that I was talking about. And it's coming right under somebody possibly doing the spell work. So it's coming back to them now. And I feel like these people are being haunted. Whoever is sending has sent you this bad juju. And honestly, it's me and about 100 other tarot, tarot readers out here that have been saying the same thing, okay? So it's not just me. I feel like, yeah, you know it. See, now here's the thing. This is what I'm talking about. I feel like it's it's going to feel like a night and day difference. It made you second guess yourself. It could have made, messed with your um, self-esteem, your intuition, your creativity, okay? 
it, it affected you. It could have really affected how you work and what you're creating, okay? Intuitively, like if you could be another tarot card, card reader out here. You could be a spiritualist, right? With a platform somewhere, you know? And I feel like now you're clear-headed. Now your intuition is back, and it's coming in strong, like seriously, strong, strong. So, yeah, it's time. It, I feel like the divine is like, that's it, that's enough. They send that bad energy away. It goes back to these people, whoever sent it out. And you um, have your intuition back, very clear-headed, probably more powerful um, than you were before, because I feel like, during this process, right, while you're with the divine, maybe in a dream state, you know, while you're sleeping, the divine is working on you, okay? The divine is working on you. And they're um, clearing that energy out. Um, I feel like they're making a judgment. Yeah, judgment is here. They're making a judgment call on where to send this energy back to, right? Um, and uh, they're protecting you. They're leading you. I see them leading like a whole boatload of light workers, divine feminine, divine masculine energies. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like your your abilities are being heightened through the work that the divine is doing on you right now. It's it's heightening your abilities, leveling you up. You may like I said, guys, I have been having to write down all of the messages that I'm getting just to try to remember them all and and sort it all out. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of, <laughs> it's been busy, okay? It's been busy. It's been really busy because, you know, they're working on us right now. They're elevating us, okay? Some of you could be um, entering into mediumship. All right, I've noticed things like that happening with me lately, too. I'm just, I don't know if I'm ready for it yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't know, you know. Um, but, yeah, I, yeah, see, here this is. Uh, mediumship, right? Uh, this is your ancestors. Or, sorry, this one. This is your ancestors. This is your spirit guides. This is you all working together, interlinked, like you, oh my gosh, Divine Feminine. So you could be um, um, feeling past loved ones. You could be feeling your spirit guides um, really strong around you at this time. I feel like you're very grateful. I feel like there's um, a lot of us out here, um, I know I do. So I don't know if you do this too, but I talk to the divine all day, like all day, every day, <laughs> all right? Um, because I know they're right here with me, in me, you know, um, guiding me, whatever, however you want to say it, it's everything. So like, I, I even ask them, you know, what do we want to eat today? What are we hungry for? You know, they tell me everything that, everything that I ask for, they tell me. So I feel like that's, kind of what you're doing too man you touch base with the divine on everything 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 divine feminine because you know that this spiritual team here this is who you trust and i feel like you're working together here with um with your guides your ancestors your peeps right you're working together with your peeps and you can feel that energy around you you can feel it really close um some, someone out there has even asked, you know, give me a sign or something like that, and they'll send you confirmation. I feel like it freaked somebody out. I don't know why. I just picked up on that from someone. So that's a confirmation for somebody. But you could be smelling something, too. Um, I've been picking up on really sweet scents, um, or I've noticed that off of people, like str even strangers, I... I went to an event the other day and someone sat down in front of me and I couldn't, honestly, and I, I, didn't, I didn't say anything about it, but I had to like kind of put my, my own hair like to my nose to cover up the smell. It, uh, and no one else, this was like a packed room and no one else noticed it but me. 
and it was so pungent that I couldn't, I had to cover up my nose. So, like, I mean, your senses are going to be heightened. That was the first thing I thought of. My senses are being heightened now, too. I mean, you're going to notice these things. Um, so, yeah, and just, you're also going to feel other energies around you. <clears throat> Especially if you're being leveled up to mediumship, okay? Um, yeah. But I feel like whatever entity or bad energy um, that these karmic individuals have been sending out, okay, to the light workers. Now, the light workers are really, this is a spiritual war, okay? It is. It's, it's a spiritual battle. So um, light workers have been attacked by this dark entity, this dark energy. Well, you have fought through it and fought through it, okay? Because you are being led. You are a warrior for the divine. Do you understand, divine feminine? You're a warrior. Light workers, oh, we're we're here to spread light. We're here to. Um, we're we're here to elevate people right we're here to awaken people and inspire people and sprinkle our um our it's like magical positive energy everywhere we go but i'll i'll tell you what though um we get attacked with spiritual energy you know this bad juju um there's a lot of attention on us right now Okay, on light workers right now. And that's because of the kind of battle that we're facing spiritually um, in the 5D, on the 3D. Okay, and I know you can sense it. This is for whoever this is resonating with. You can sense it. You're breaking through that now because you're a light worker, but that is, you're also a warrior. Tough as nails. You are tough as nails, and you can bust through this energy. And I feel that that's what you've been doing here, is like just, man, just punching on the gas and just going for it. You know, uh, full steam ahead as much as you can. You just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing, and you're busting through it now. As you bust through that energy, the divine calls judgment, sends it back to these people there's the entity right there it's right there you guys and here's like a blood offering on the table okay now a masculine energy could have done this or if they're around if they're still currently with um this dark energy uh, you know the, whoever this is this toxic individual that sent the energy out they're going to be suffering that karma Okay, they'll be haunted too as they reach for the divine, something spiritual, okay? Begging on their knees, begging for forgiveness. That's what this is. Begging on their knees for forgiveness for the work that they did to conjure up whatever energy this is that's been attacking you because it's now haunting them. Do you understand? I hope you guys get it. And that's justice. Look, the divine has, they've seen everything. They see everything. There's nothing that gets past them, okay? And uh, believe me, a lot of this stuff they already knew was going to happen because the script has been written, okay? Um, it's getting deep, but look, the universe is like, we need to balance these scales. We've seen it all. We've called judgment. Now it's time for the sentencing with justice. It's time to, sent, you know, we've watched everything. Okay? Nothing was hidden from God. So, yeah, we've judged the situation and now it's time for the sentencing. Now we send that energy back to you and you get to be haunted. You get to be haunted because our warrior light worker, what does that look like to you? <laughs> our warrior light worker is conquering this devil. 
whatever bad energy they sent you collective i'm telling you you are fighting your way through it you're gonna bust through it if you haven't already if it's still affecting you you will bust through it um a few things that'll help you get the rest that you need um because you know what the divine is working on you most likely in in your rest time cleanse your energy protect your energy burn your sage right say your positive affirmations make yourself a vision board focus on the positive things that you want in your life do do what you can as long as it's not hurting anybody or hurting you or breaking the law nothing like that don't do anything negative right but do things that you enjoy that put a smile on your face and it doesn't have to be huge a few simple things a day that's all it takes listen to positive music get outside breathe the fresh air walk around in the grass barefoot walk on a beach barefoot okay um, get your feet in water and on land right soak up the sun um, I mean anything to keep yourself positive right that is how you're gonna burst and just keep it moving keep moving forward like the warrior that you are you will break through this energy and when you do rest assured that whatever it is that they sent you it's gonna be haunting whoever sent it to you it's going right back to them okay and know, be, know that your spiritual team is working right there with you, okay? They see everything. I feel like you're protected here as well. But be thankful. Show gratitude every day, right? Show gratitude. Yeah, see, and there's that manifesting. Manifestation stuff. I'm telling you, yeah. Ace of Swords, clarity. Clarity. Finally, right? This is you clearing that energy. And I feel like whoever, yep, they're defeated. Whoever sent you that bad energy collective, okay, they're done. I feel like they're stuck. I feel like they're absolutely stuck here in their own um, spell work trap, okay? It's all coming back on them. Look at this. Here's your, look, there they are, same dress even. Here's your spirit guides, there's that one. Here's your ancestors, right there, is right there. And this is the person who sent you the bad energy, and I feel like they've got them. They've got them, and, the, and whatever masculine approved of it, or witnessed it, and didn't do anything, guess what they're getting theirs too kind of looks like a crucifixion to me they're getting theirs too in the form of that entity coming right back on them and haunting them at night to the point where they're on their knees begging to god for forgiveness i'm telling you wow 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 um all right let's get some advice anything else here yeah here i didn't, i know it says doom but you know that they're look they're going to be facing their doom you're putting the sword down you've gotten clear your head is clear you're going to bust through this and you're going to continue to manifest yeah the perfection of your life I've got, I've got balance on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be balanced out again. You will break through this because you are that warrior. You're a light worker, but you're, you're a warrior for the divine. You're just on the front line, okay? You're on the front line. So, yeah, inner trust. You know what? Do, here's the thing whatever entity energy they sent you it messes with your head it gets in your head somehow and it makes you second guess yourself it 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 screws up your 
confidence in yourself. It, it may make you feel so tired. You feel like you just can't keep going. You can't focus. Now you're going to have your inner trust back. You, nothing's going to be able to, to touch this after this, okay? You're going to be like, wait a minute, I am confident. Wait a minute, I do trust my intuition. You know, you're going to realize it. Once you realize it, what this is, what this energy is that's been sent to you, you're going to be able to break free. And you're going to be clear-headed. You're going to be able to trust your own intuition again. Yep. Yep. I'm telling you, and you're going to be able to manifest your new life here. And I feel like um, you'll have divine protection too. I'm seeing this as a bubble. <laughs> okay, there was a show once about a, a town under a bubble. I, I, I don't remember what it was, but that's what I'm seeing. I feel like you've got a bubble of protection around you, okay, because you're having faith now. You've got faith in the process Yep, releasing things. Releasing is on the bottom of the deck. You're releasing that bad energy and it's it's being sent right back to sender. Return to sender immediately. They're, I feel like these people are already being haunted. Um, it's, all, it's already been sent back to them. You may be um, just recovering right now. Getting your rest so the divine can work on you, right? Um, but yeah, it's because uh, your person is already on their knees begging for forgiveness, okay? So either they're haunted in their own mind, that's the energy they sent you, or if they sent out an entity, that entity is sitting here with them as they enjoy their tomato soup, okay? That's what it looks like, a big bowl of blood or tomato soup there. <laughs> Feel like it's an offering, okay? But they made it to the feel like they made an offering to the devil. And now they're on their knees for forgiveness for from the divine. It doesn't really work that way. Alright, so yeah, they're being haunted. And you're breaking free from that energy. Yeah, beyond, beyond the mind, the heartbeats. I feel like um, I feel like you guys are communicating with the universe now. I mean, I really feel a mastery off of you. I feel like you're from a whole other world. You know, you're not from around here, Divine Feminine, right? I'm feeling like galactic energy, okay? Um yeah, you're, this is just, to me, it's like becoming a master and communicating directly with the universe, telling them, that what, telling them what you want. This is manifesting energy. Um, yeah, that with the big, bold vision, yep, and bringing it into form. That's manifesting. Thank you. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you could even be, like, of Egyptian descent or... It's almost like a royal bloodline is what I'm feeling like here. Royal bloodline. Which is weird, too, because I watched a documentary not too long ago about um, the queens of Egypt. Or, um, yeah, queens. I think it's, that's what it was called, I think. Queens of Egypt. Um, and they talked about each one and how powerful they were, really. You know, I feel like you have lineage, like royal lineage here. Um, but yeah, you're a, a master. Look at all your intuition. Look at that. Your third eye. Um, you're being gifted here with this bee. Um, um, your intuition is being heightened. Your abilities to communicate with the divine are being strengthened, right? The lines of communication are much more clear. Um, than they were before. Yeah, and you're you're starting to see now your your thoughts are becoming things. All right. Um, it's almost like um, oh, what is it called again? Oh darn, I can't remember the name of it, and I should because I say it a lot. All of a sudden, it's out of my head. Um, law of attraction. That's it. 
the law of attraction. Look up the law of attraction. That's what manifesting is. Your thoughts become things. Okay? So you need to you need to be careful. Keep your thoughts positive. I see sometimes you guys may not be positive. You've questioned things. I feel like that's part of this. That's like um, a smidge of that bad energy still affecting you. Um, but you're snapping out of that, see? You're, you're completely going to be opening up. But, you know, just go easy on yourself, okay? Because you've been through a lot, collective, right? Release as much as you can to the divine. You know, remain positive. Um, you're going to start seeing what you've manifested, what you've thought of, what you've focused on, becoming a reality. You're actually right here, you're creating your own future life, okay? Look up the law of attraction, guys. I can't make it up. Anyway, um, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. It's really deep, you know? Um, but yeah, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. I'm so proud of you all, Divine Feminines. I love you guys. You Seriously, you are so strong. You are such a strong driving force right now in the world. Okay, remain positive, keep being strong, allow the divine to give you these downloads, right? All right, anyway, um, I love you guys. Like and subscribe if you like this vibe and you want to join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.